Hi friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. Today is my second video in my fall decorating series. And I thought it would be fun to decorate our coffee bar. I know how much you guys love that and I love decorating it as well for all the different seasons and holidays. I was going to try to wait till the weather cooperated, but as you can see, it is raining and I wanted our lighting to be the best for you but come rain or shine I'm just gonna jump into today's video and we're gonna decorate our coffee bar for fall I'm going to add tons of copper black and whites as well as some amber glass so definitely sit back relax and I hope that you enjoy watching okay so here is a look at our coffee bar we got the cabinet from Wayfair and as you can see it is all cleared off I like to start with a totally blank canvas and then I'm super excited to decorate the shelves that my husband made. This will be the first time that I'm actually decorating them for fall. Last year we installed them a little bit before Christmas so I'm excited to get started. Today I'm starting off by cleaning down all the shelves with my all-purpose cleaner in the apple cider scent. It's my all-time favorite scent for fall. I wish there was smell cam because Oh my gosh, guys, I love when I smell this. It just puts me in the mood for fall and for all the decorating that is to come. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the shelves and the cabinet and get everything nice and clean before we start decorating. Today I'm going to go ahead and start decorating from the bottom up and adding some fall decor. Now one area that I definitely want to take into consideration is the outlet. I want to cover it so that it's not going to jump out and scream outlet. The coffee maker it has a very short cord or otherwise I would probably try to move this over here, secure it to the leg, come down and then back up and then hide it with the core down here. Because it is so short, I'm going to just try to place something there to hide it. So I'm really loving how the bottom shelf turned out. So this is one option. I'm gonna go ahead and give you three options for concealing that outlet. And then you can let me know down in the comments which one you prefer. So this first one is the dark tray. And because I'm using this beautiful Hobby Lobby pumpkin, but because it's dark and then the background is dark, it's not like popping off. So I'm going to switch it out for a lighter tray and see how that looks. Option number two, I love that the white background causes that pumpkin to really pop, so I'm loving that, but I have one more option for you, so let's take a look at that one. is the third option. It's actually my favorite. I love that the color is light. 
So the pumpkin actually pops off of it as well as it adds tons of texture and i think that is key to creating a space that is visually interesting so i'm going to stick with this but definitely let me know down in the comments which was your favorite okay so we're going to go ahead and move up and start decorating this area as well For my mug rack, I was debating on whether using these white ones from Target or these cute little Corel that are super old. They actually were gifted to me when Scott and I were just starting out homemaking from my parents. And so a little fact about me is I like to hold on to things. I don't get rid of very much very often because I like to reuse it. And luckily I did because I'm going to go with these. I think that subtle brown kind of pulls in that real fall autumn look. So I'm going with these. So I thought I would share that with you and we'll just get these hung and see how the rest of this coffee bar turns out. Now it is time to work on the shelves, which is my favorite part. So the first thing I like to do is start with my larger items first and then just start filling in. And I like to remember to scatter my copper pieces, my amber glass, as well as the whites and blacks and whites. So I just try to keep everything nice and balanced. As autumn approaches and school starts back, if you're like me and lots of mothers, grandmothers, sisters, friends, and aunts out there, us ladies start to just start worrying about our kids and what the world may do to them or what they may experience. 
I encourage you to just lean on what the psalmist says in Psalm 118, 5 through 6. And that is, out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? So whatever you're walking through today, let's just let go and let God keep praying and trust in him. Yes, baby. Okay, friends, well, that does it for today's video. I sure hope that I gave you tons of decorating ideas for your coffee bar. If I did, go ahead, leave that down in the comments. I love hearing that you are inspired by my ideas. I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, this is only my second video in my fall decorating series, so I hope to see you back. In my last one, I kicked off my fall decorating series here in our family room, and I just love how that turned out so definitely go check that out if you haven't already please consider subscribing and also if you like the video remember to give me a big thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think might enjoy this Up next will be my kitchen clean and decorate. So if you're looking for some motivation and some more fall decorating inspiration for your kitchen, you definitely won't want to miss that one. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you in my next one. Take care and God bless friends. Bye.